All right, I just wanted to come on here to share with you guys what my 2025 VS Code setup looks like. It's clean, it's minimal, and it's optimized for productivity. No unnecessary clutter, just the tools and productivity hacks that help me code better and faster. If you're tired of a bloated workspace, but just want something simple and powerful, let's get into it. All right, first things first, let's talk about the looks. If I'm going to be staring at my editor for hours, it better look good and help me focus. All right, so for my team, I'm rocking Monokai Pro, specifically the Filter Restore version. I would sometimes switch between versions, but I mostly use the Filter Restore version. I really hope I'm saying the name right, but it sounds like Filter Restore. It's easy on the eyes and keep things smooth. It's also high contrast, but not too contrasty to distract your eyes. One cool thing about this team is that it makes syntax highlighting very intuitive. You can easily spot functions, variables, and keywords instantly. Now, if you know me, you would know I'm obsessed about icons. Like, I genuinely can't stand ugly icons. I've tried different icon packs for VS Code, but Material Icon Team is the only one that satisfies my obsession. It gives files and folders distinct visuals so that way I can spot what I need instantly. I just really like how it makes different file types very easy to differentiate without me having to look hard. Now, this is one that for some reason nobody talks about, but your font actually matters more than you think. VS Code comes default with either consolas on main load depending on your operating system. But just like icons, I can't stand the default fonts on VS Code. Now, I already know I cannot pronounce the name of this font, but this is the font I'm using. But the really cool thing about this font is that it's clean, sharp, and has ligatures that make code way easier to read. Aside from the ligatures, one thing I actually love about this font is just how gamified it looks. It just makes writing code way more fun. Now, I don't know about you all, but in my opinion, the main reason why VS Code shines is just because of its vast options of extensions. So I just wanted to give you guys some of the must have extensions in VS Code. These are the extensions I use every day and makes my life very easy. The first extension is Bracket Pair Colorizer. In my early days, you all, I used to get lost in nested code all the time until I heard about Bracket Pair Colorizer. It color codes your brackets so you hardly lose track of your scope. One thing I love is that it makes debugging way easier. Just follow the colors and you will always know which bracket belongs where. Now, this is one I literally installed two weeks ago but completely changed how I debug my code. In my opinion, the default error panel in VS Code just has too much clicking involved. Error lenses shows errors in your code, no extra steps. Spot it, fix it, and just move on. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hated it when I first installed it. I just found it visually distracting seeing this bold red text beside your code when you're trying to fix errors. But that's kind of the point, just to distract you till you fix that error. AI coding assistant is a cheat code and it's here to stay. Copilot helps me autocomplete entire functions before I even think of them. It's like having an extra brain while you're coding. All right, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I haven't been using it a lot lately, just because it takes away the excitement of figuring things out while you're coding. I mean, sure, it has context of your whole code and it can predict and suggest the next thing you're supposed to do before you even think about it, but that just takes away the fun of me trying to figure it out. And at this point, I'm not coding, I'm just accepting suggestions. I don't know if it's just me, but let me know in the comment section if you guys feel the same way about AI Copilot Autocomplete. Now let's talk about some housekeeping extensions. Absolutely nobody has time for ugly code and Prettier and ESLint are both like Batman and Robin. They complement themselves perfectly. Prettier auto formats everything and ESLint keeps your syntax clean. Install them, turn on format on save and never think about it again. I just love how this makes coding way easier. Your code is always formatted consistently no matter what. I feel like this one is a no brainer for anyone who uses Git, especially if you collaborate with a team. Git Lenses is a must. It shows you who wrote what, when, and why inside VS Code. No more switching to GitHub for comment history. One thing I really appreciate is how you can see when a specific line of code was last edited. This is a game changer when debugging. Now, before we talk about productivity hacks for VS Code, let's talk about a tool from today's sponsor that helps you manage tasks and stay productive. Bitrix24. If you are juggling projects, deadlines, and remote teams, this is an all-in-one platform you need to try. Bitrix24 isn't just another task manager. It's a powerhouse for personal and team productivity. Think about to-do lists with AI-powered co-pilots, smart reminders, and even workflow automation to eliminate busy work. Check this out. You can break projects into subtasks, 
add checklists, set reminders, and even automate repetitive steps like assigning tasks or sending notifications. And their AI Copilot, just describe what you need and it drafts task descriptions and checklists for you. And just an FYI, the AI Copilot can do much more than that. The calendar syncs with Google, Apple, and Outlook, so your team is always aligned. Plus, the free mobile app means you can be productive from literally anywhere. Now, if you're looking for smart tools to manage tasks and stay productive, check out Bitrix24. It's great for startups, solo entrepreneurs, and team of any size and the best part is it's literally free to start i've left the link in the description for you to learn more and sign up for a free bitchx24 account now that vs code looks good and has the right extensions let's make it work smarter if you need to edit multiple places at once hold alt on windows or options on mac and click where you need and boom multi cursor editing this is absolutely amazing for making quick refactors across multiple lines now this ain't for everyone but if you absolutely hate hitting command s every two minutes to save your file, turn on auto save and format on save. That way your file saves and your code stays clean automatically. I like this because it keeps my workflow smooth. I never have to forget about saving or formatting a file. Now, this is the one that when I found out about it, I was too excited. But in VS Code, you can go in and create snippet generators that automatically generate code snippets for you. For example, a fetch automatically generates an asynchronous fetch function for me. eh automatically generates an error handler for me. All you need to do is hit command plus shift plus B and search for configure snippet. Then click create global snippet file if you haven't done this before. And you can literally customize this JSON file to generate any kind of snippet you want. I don't know, but I still find it really crazy that you can do this. But I'm going to leave a link in the description to a JSON file for you guys to go check out my own snippet generators if you're interested. But yeah, that's my 2025 VS Code setup. It's clean, minimal, and crazy efficient. Now, and I don't know everything, but I'm really interested in knowing what your own must-have extensions for your setup is. Drop them in the comment section. I'm always looking for ways to improve my own VS Code setup. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.